Hi, I'm Logan. Installing a trailer hitch on your Honda Odyssey can take you to some really fun places like camping and biking. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere in North America. Let's break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to start off, we're going to be removing the nine push pins located underneath the rear bumper. We'll be using a flathead screwdriver to remove those pins. After removing this pin, you can remove the exhaust shield and this will not be reinstalled. So now we're on the driver's side rear wheel well and we'll be removing these five screws with a Phillips head ratchet. If you don't have one, you can use a short Phillips head screwdriver. Now we can remove the mud flap. We'll set this aside for reinstallation later. Now we're going to repeat that same process here on the passenger side. Lastly, on our driver's side, we have a 10 millimeter bolt holding up our beauty panel. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket with a 12 inch extension to remove it. With that bolt removed, we'll set our beauty panel aside for reinstallation later. Next, you're gonna open the trunk to expose these two bolts and use a 3 16 hex bit to remove them. Now we're gonna repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now it's time to remove the bumper. We're gonna start on the sides of the vehicle using a trim removal tool. Our vehicle has two wiring harnesses, one beneath each tail light. These will need to be disconnected before removing the bumper. With our bumper removed, we will now set it aside. During the bumper removal process, this foam absorber fell out. It'll need to be reattached before continuing. Now we need to lower our exhaust, but first we need to support it using a strap. So we're gonna take the strap and put it over the control arm, pull it down, and tighten it up. Now we're gonna remove this exhaust hanger, and to do that, we're gonna use an exhaust removal tool and some soapy water. Next, we're gonna move our hitch into place. We're gonna be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack if you don't have one of these, we recommend using a second set of hands because the hitch is pretty heavy. Now we're going to install our manufacturer supplied hardware. We're going to use a M12 hex bolt with a conical tooth washer. Make sure the washer has the teeth facing towards the hitch. We're going to install three of these on each side. And these are the three holes right here. We're just gonna get these bolts hand tight for now. And now we're gonna repeat it on the other side. With our hardware in place, we're gonna be torquing our bolts to manufacturer specifications. You can find those specifications in the link below. We're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket. Before reinstalling the bumper, we'll need to cut out part of the trim. We went ahead and taped it off. If you need the exact measurements, you can find them in the link below. Uh -huh. 
Now we're going to clean up some of these edges with a file. Now we're going to trim our beauty panel. If you want the measurements, you can find them in the link below. Now we're going to reinstall our bumper. Don't forget to reattach your sensors. This might be easier if you have a second set of hands. Now that the bumper is back in place, we're going to put everything back together. Since we're not reinstalling the exhaust guard, you do not need to reinstall these two push pins. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five inches. And from the ground to the top of the receiver is 14 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com. <laughs>